Several North Dakota schools were placed on lockdown this morning after receiving threatening calls about an active shooter. Police responded to each case and determined there was nothing going on there. It was known as a swatting call. Well, Justin Gick explains what that means. Swatting is an attempt at making a prank phone call to emergency services in order to bring a large number of armed police officers to a particular address. Bismarck High School and many schools statewide fell victim to this incident, which sent students and staff into a lockdown. After a while, it was like, oh, this might actually be something, and it kind of just started to set in at like 45 minutes, and then it just got longer and longer, and that's all that, like, we were just sitting there, and nobody knew what was going on. The Bismarck Police Department said the phone call was received by dispatch at 9.45 a.m. The call was from someone claiming to be an active shooter. The dispatcher heard gunfire in the background, which prompted them to have police respond. Well, they immediately respond, and uh, they look for the threat, and the first thing they want to do is end that threat. Parents were waiting outside of the school as children sent them messages on the situation from inside. My parents, they texted me a lot, like a lot, the whole time, because we were just sitting in class and I was on my phone. So I was texting them and they knew a lot more than I did. The swatting calls are increasing nationally and are occurring more often. Uh, we get some here every once in a while and it's been happening all over the country really, the same kind of thing that happened to us today. And plus it happened in several other cities in North Dakota today too. Students we talk to do not understand why someone would want to do this. Because it brings a lot of like harm and like stress to people because a lot of people were crying today. Like there was people crying and calling their parents all day today. Although all of these incidents in the state were a hoax, police say they will respond accordingly to protect students and staff. In Bismarck, I'm Justin Geck, reporting for your news leader.